Hi guys, welcome back to Run, Stretch, Succeed. On this channel we cover fitness, running, stretching, mainly running at the minute as I have got a lot of running goals coming up. So if you like videos like that, subscribe. Today I just wanted to do a quick video because a couple of people asked me what I take when I do ultra marathons. So that's what today's video is. I did edit the video a bit just because I've got a little stutter and that's why it might jump a little, but I hope you enjoy. So just doing a video on everything I'm taking to the Ultra. We'll start off with my bag. It's a Salomon's bag. I will put the model up. It's very moldable. It's very moldable. It's lightweight. It's got loads of pockets in the front for your water, snacks, pockets in the side for stuff you don't need as much, and everything what you're carrying for emergency use in the back. It's amazing. Highly recommend. It is linked down below. It is the affiliate link, but... I did put all the cheapest prices and find the cheapest prices for you at the moment when this video is being uploaded. I am taking water and electrolytes in soft flasks. I can only find one at the moment. I've just misplaced one. The other one has got pink tape at the top. And these are very good. They're very lightweight, they're foldable. They don't hurt your body or press against it. So soft flasks are the way forwards. From here, we have got stuff that's going in the back in a dry bag, just in case it does rain. Found me other soft flask, the pink tape's there. This is just a cheap one off Amazon. You put all your stuff in it, it's great for festivals. So all your stuff, what you wanna keep dry, like your base layer, are your base layer, your coat, if you've got a spare coat, maybe some leggings, put it in here, it won't get wet. And also I've got to cut because it's a cutless race. This is just a foldable one. Um, you can pick these up from anywhere. So from here we have got stuff like my clothing. So I'm taking a sun hat because it's meant to be sunny. This is just a buff one. I like it. It's pink. I thought it was going to be brighter. Quite comfortable. Fold up into nothing again so that it doesn't take much room and that's something I've learned about ultras you want the smallest of everything and the lightest of everything because the more weight even if it's a tiny bit it all adds up and makes you better so I've got to also I've got to coat what is 10,000 hydrostatic heads that is recommended and actually that is the lowest quality coat you can have it folds up into nothing it's lightweight so I would recommend getting a lightweight coat because coats weigh a ton. I've got a base layer. This is just a cheap base layer I got from Go Outdoors. It's nothing special. Hopefully I will never need it, but it's always there in case I need a base layer. Also, the last item of clothing is something I'm wearing, but I wanted to show it because of the really groove it, the my shorts, the by Happy Strider. They're really good quality. I think they cost me £25. They've got an inner lining and also a pocket for your phone, what I probably will never use, but maybe that will interest. So maybe that will interest you as well, but they're really good quality and the fun care. I really like them. I just wanted to show you, to be honest. From here, we've got our safety stuff. So we have to take two head torches. So I've got a pretzel one. What is a really good model it lasts for something like seven days on the lowest light or 12 hours on the highest light it is 700 lumens i think or 70 or something it's really bright and also i've got my spur what is just a cheap one it's quite bulky if you look compared to the more expensive one but that's just my spur one so hopefully i won't need either of them also, we've got a foil blanket just in case I need that, in case it starts raining and I get lost and need saving so I can put that around me. I've had this a couple of years. Hopefully, I will never need that. So, I bought it once and it's never going to be opened, hopefully. Also, you've got to take a whistle in case they need to find you so you can blow a whistle. So, I've just got this one off my nap. So, she's had that actually since since she's been about 20 and now she's 90. It's in the same bag that she got it in. Also, we'll go over electricals. So I've got my 
Fenex watch. Um, I would recommend getting the Plus because it's got the maps on. I have actually linked that one down below instead of this one because it's the same price. But I only got it for the maps and this has not got maps on. So this is why I have got the German E-Trex map. So it, you can put your GPX files on it. I will do a review of this. But it is just like um, basically a sat nav for when you're hiking, running, or anything like that. It does the whole of the UK. It's got built in maps. You can upload better maps on it because the maps are not meant to be amazing. But I would recommend the X version because the normal version has got bread trails on rather than a proper map so this is a lot better and especially because i get lost all the time and then i've got aftershock headphones if god made headphones these would be the headphones he made they are bone connecting ones they are now called shock so they've took the after after off on for some reason to make it sound cooler i guess or something and you can pick up calls it is bone conducting they are active fitness supported so you can wear them at all races because some races don't let you wear headphones so i highly recommend them i've got three pairs in different colors because they last seven hours and if i'm doing an ultra and i want to listen to music i will have headphones to listen to music whether they run out or not the other ones are on charge upstairs from here we've got some hay fever tablets because suddenly i have hay fever never had it in years but this year my eyes have started swelling and i've been on these two days and it's gone down so thank you for cheap hay fever tablets you've helped loads Amodium because you can never trust the fat past mile 20 and i couldn't think of anything worse than you know on a race so i found these in my bag so i'm taking them before the race i do this at every race i do because i'm paranoid from here we've got the nutrition i've got some tailwind i will be separating this into little bags because i'm not carrying that it's really heavy it's got 50 servings and i'll probably need about six at most and it's a really good brand i think this cost me 30 pound i've linked this down below it stops you from having a funny stomach it's got 200 calories in electrolytes so i might not need any more electrolytes than this but i will be taking more with me just in case so that brings me on to the electrolytes these are just salt sticks speed chews in lemon flavored i separated them because I don't need to take a full box and frankly if they're in the box they rattle and on one race someone had a go at me because my bag was rattle rattling on one race someone had a go at me because my bag was rattling so i have got these in a separate bag and it's smaller so then i've got my gels i would recommend high five the vegan they're nicer than other brands some have got caffeine in some i haven't some have got water in so they're a bit more juicy what well, is actually a bit of a nicer flavor but these are the ones i have to hand also i'm taking some spur sis ones if i need them i got them from manchester marathon i don't really like this brand but they're just backups i might give them someone on the race if they need a gel or a pick me up from here we've got some bears these are just cheap ones from alder they're really nice actually the vegan raspberry and nut bears they're just a bit of a chewy bear they're not very crunchy they're just chewy they taste really nice they do look like a chocolate bear on the box but they're more like a fruit bear but i kind of really enjoy them as well so i'm taking about four of them six of them maybe also kendall mint cake because it's full of sugar and you need sugar when you do ultra marathons so this is what i've had for ages it's got tea on the back so hopefully i will get rid of this this time because the packet is actually getting quite grubby but i don't think it goes off because it's just basically sugar and sugar lasts forever so guys i hope you enjoyed the video a lot of the stuff in this video i wish i had when i did my first ultra marathon especially the lighter stuff as 
I have more stuff now than I would on my first Ultra because it's stuff I need, but my bag is literally half the way because it does make a big difference when you're running so far. So if you are watching this video when I upload it on Good Friday, if you follow the link down below in the comments to Strava, I will have my track rope for the race so you can see where I am on the race so if you want to see that if you enjoyed that video subscribe to the channel give me a like if you've got any questions or you want a review of any of the products like a more in-depth one comment it down it below or if you've just got a question about a product i will answer it and guys i will see you next time